This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. I just wish we were somewhere with a little more action. Hey, Greg. You wish for a little more action? I do wish for more action, Mike. As you wish, Greg. We we'll have such a nice time. Let's party! Just getting started. I sucker. Ready for a little more? <laughs> What you wish for, Greg? Not this, but it's nice. You got two wishes left.
Well, hello, hello. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Very warm welcome to everyone joining, wherever you are joining us from. We are here today to formally bring together the chief support bout. Fabio Wardley against David Adelaide will be chief support on October 28th for the Battle of the Baddest. We already know about the main event. The king of the heavyweight division in boxing, Tyson Fury, takes on the king of heavyweight MMA, Francis Ngannou. The winner will be deemed the baddest man on the planet. It's brought to you by Queensbury Promotions, alongside Top Rank and Gimmick Fight Promotions. The event is broadcast in the UK on TNT Sports Box Office, in the US via Top Rank on ESPN Plus Pay-Per-View, and in other territories on DAZN. This is a mouth-watering fight here. We've got four titles on the line between two unbeaten British heavyweights who will be duking it out in the desert. Frank, you are one of the men who is making this happen. Frank Warren of Queensbury Promotions. And let's get a word from you at the, at the very top here. You are, you are, I can see you're excited about this one. Big fight and a, and a fitting chief support bout on October 28th. I think it's a fabulous fight. I mean, you know, it's the first time I've ever met Fabio spoken to him briefly on the telephone. Um, this is, I think this is what it's all about, isn't it? Undefeated heavyweights, two rising stars of boxing, main support bout on a unique event, massive event, which is going to be broadcast all over the world. So for the winner, or the, these two guys, whoever wins this fight is going to establish himself around the world. It's not just the British and Commonwealth, around the world, lots of eyeballs watching this. This is huge. This is a huge opportunity, and you can just feel the buzz about this, the event, but you can feel the buzz about this fight. This fight is going to be special. feels like one of those classic sort of throwback unbeaten British heavyweight fights, Frank. It does, it does. But as they say, somebody's O will go, and uh, it, I just think it's going to be really entertaining. It's going to be really entertaining. We had that unf unfortunate incident last week, so that's been hopefully been dealt with and done, and I hope we can put that behind us at the moment and focus on the fight. But this fight, make no, you know, no bones about it, no doubt about it, it will be exciting. There's a buzz about it. You, know, you can feel it from the guys as well. There's a real buzz about it. They're big men. I mean, they're big, big guys. And once they start letting those bombs go... Bombs away. It's going to be exciting. Well, let's speak to these, uh, these big, big guys. Uh, just to start with a question, uh, David, I'll start with you, actually. I'm going to ask Fabio the same thing as well. Look, it's no secret what, what happened last time. We don't need to go too much into what exactly happened. But the last time you were together, you know, it didn't end great. What did you learn about Fabio Wardley that night? Um, nothing. Um, I kind of know what sort of man he is anyways. So uh, that didn't really show me much. What sort of man is he? Not the same as me. He ain't built from the same cloth. You know, um, I kind of knew that already. But uh, it was just more so, I just matched, like I said to you, we ain't going to talk about the situation, but like I said, I match energy. Um, I don't go in there with no malice. Like, I'm always smiling, I'm always good, but I just match energy. So if somebody... Off the camera, there's a certain energy. I'm just going to match it, and uh, I'm pretty good at doing it. Well, let's bring in Fabio here. What, what did you learn uh, from the last time you came face to face with David Adelaide? I don't know if I particularly learned anything. Um, there wasn't nothing I didn't know already that I hadn't seen already in in other situations and other circumstances. That was a bit jittery when the when the cameras are on, when it's a big stage, when it's a big big event. People's personality shows through and nervous demeanour, nervous, jittery, on edge, twitchy. But they're all things that we'd already seen, already assessed already. So it wasn't particularly nothing new, things I'd already seen. But that's it, a was question. Just, it was funny to see up close, that was all. But when did I seem jittery? When? You seemed jittery from the second. All I did was turn and look at you and you jittered. No, I'm, no, 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 no. Is that, is that what you call jittery? It's what it looked like, yeah. Wow. I call it being on point, that's all. He was on point? Yeah, if you walk towards me, you're going to get dealt with. I, I pushed towards... you back, that was all. Yeah, of course. You, you threw a it's punch. not jittery, I would have just pushed you back. It seems jittery. If someone, do you push everyone that walks towards you and approaches you? Or? No, but it depends. This is what I'm saying. If somebody just, I mean... So it's just in a situation, me jittery you know, in a situation, then. In a situation like that, when I'm having an argument with one of your team members, or me and your team member are going at it, I'm not going to let somebody 17 stone walk towards me. Of course I'm going to push you back. 
What for? If you weren't mm-hmm. jittery, what, what's the what's the need? Let me ask you I've something. Had, I've had big men that I've had issues with walk towards me. And I've been I've been an adult and I've been able to have a conversation with them. I need yeah, to push them. I'm, I'm, I'm not an edge. I'm not nervous. I'm, I'm cool. So when you, when you walked over towards me, it wasn't a thing of me having to talk to you. I'm arguing with someone in your team. I kind of know what's going to happen already. Because if you was arguing with someone in my team, I'm not going to walk to you. I'm going to walk to the people in my team and get the people in my team to, to chill out. Like, don't worry, I'm going to deal with it. But you walked over to me. You shouldn't have done it. I walked over to you to calm the thing down. All right, well, like, we'd, you know. me and you had met before. We'd, we were caught at the, press, at the presser before that. There was nothing there. That's what I say. I'm actually that That's why I came over, to be like, yo, there's no need for this. It's a big event. It's a big carpet. Like, play well, your role. We're here to be professionals at the end of the day. And then well, before, well, I had to tell you, before you walked towards me, I said, don't walk towards me. I, I, I need a word. All right. Because I'm used to being able to have a mature interaction with someone where you can just walk over and no, go, yo, there's no need for that. No, I hear you. Obviously, you came over to say you was talking to me. I get it. You're not like that, so I understand that. Were you nervous, David? Were you jittery in uh, Fabio Wardley's presence? No, Are you nervous now? No, I don't get nervous. I mean, I don't know what it is. I just... Oh, I don't know. I, I t- it's hard to explain, but nerves ain't really a thing for me. I mean, everyone gets... Everyone feels a certain way, but I don't get nervous. And someone like Fabio Wardley could never bring on them sort of nerves in me. I mean, what does he do for me to be nervous? You've referred to him as easy money. Tell me more about that. I'm getting paid to beat him up. It's easy money. Easy money, Fabio? I don't think so, no. I think I'm not. I'm, I'm being paid to be brought over because Frank realises that you're not what you thought you were. You're not probably what he thought you was. So he's brought me over to do a job, get rid of you, and I don't know you're betting on your easy money talking about that, but I think Frank's betting his money on me. I'm making a fight happen. Eddie Hearn doesn't put his money on you. What are you talking about? You're with Eddie Hearn. He don't put his money on you. Huh? I was a free. I can go wherever I want. I know, but why didn't he put his money on you? Because the fight was with you. So I came over and I said, and Frank said, no, no, it's a big stage. Because when we came to your press conference, I said, fight on BT. You said, no, we're going to fight on the zone. Why are you fighting on BT right now? TNT, the big event. By the way. God. Yeah, TNT. Well, you know, no, but at the time it was BT, so it was TNT now. Mm? Why are you fighting on TNT? If it's you a big want show. to fight on the zone, it's a big show. But why didn't Eddie Hearn put his money where his mouth was? I'm a free guy. I can go where I want. No one no, tells me where I It's not about you. Why didn't Eddie Hearn do it? I'm saying, not you. What do you mean? Why didn't he do what? Why didn't Eddie Hearn do nothing with the purse bid? It's not about the purse bid. I, it was me that said, I'll, I'll go aside from that and I'll do it my oh, way. Oh, so you told Eddie you didn't want to do that? Yeah. You know I I, it might, that might be refreshing to you because you're, 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 you're locked We heard Eddie Hearn's long interview. Term. Eddie Hearn said he's not doing it. He didn't say he wasn't doing it at all. He was. He said he's going to leave you to go with TNT. And that's exactly what he just did. I didn't say I was going to leave. now. I ain't left no one. On my show. Your show? My show. Where's, where's your name? Oh, wait, your name's second. I don't know yeah, how Yeah, because you're the champion. Yeah, exactly. So how's it your, your show then? It's my show. You come over to my... You're on oh, my promoter show right now. Mmm. 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 And he's... On oh, my show, boy. And he sat next to who? And you. Me. I mean, it just happens to be like that. Oh, but you oh, see, oh. once I punch you up, October 28th, then what? <laughs> then, huh? then what? Then what? Well, you gonna punch me up? I'm gonna, oh, my God. Come on. I think this fight's going to be better and better. As we're going on here, you can see it's going to be... I like Audley, but he's a cool This guy. is going like to be so though. exciting. <laughs> You're a fun guy, man. <laughs> Fabio, let me ask you this. Uh, when, when we met the other week, I, uh, I asked you, what, what's this press conference going to be like? And you said you're just going to turn up and remind David Adlai about some of his flaws. What are they? How long have we got? <laughs> all day. We've got all day. All day, so go on, fire away. <coughs> Look, he hasn't got the same level of experience as me. He hasn't been in with the same level of fighters that I've been in with. Is that a flaw? Yeah. That's, no, 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 no. Stop talk about flaws, because I can talk about your flaws. Your overconfidence of yourself. See, now, what's the difference between Based off confident and overconfident? What's the difference? Because you've got nothing to back up the confidence. That's what makes it overconfident. Yeah? You've not, you've not done So if I go out there now... Hmm? Saturday night comes and I bang you up and I've just literally said what I'm going to do then hmm. what what do you say then, then it's confidence then you can have it but for now for right now overconfidence alright cool I'm going to have it as overconfidence for 10 days I can live with that <laughs> that's in 10 days so I can live with that <laughs> any other flaws there's a lot yeah but I don't want to give away the game too much so we'll save those for the night David, have you seen I any... can say his flaws his pants he ain't going to change it for fight night hmm. does not even mean they don't change nothing <laughs> Once I hit you on the chin, you're going to know about it, though. But you will see certain things. I don't think you do a lot of things. 
Um, and you don't do nothing better than me. So we'll have to see on fight night. I asked you, Fabio, if you, uh, if you respect David Adelaide and you, you told me you don't respect him. Tell, tell me a little bit more about that. Look, I'm a stand-up person. I respect those that respect me and that show me respect and behave respectfully. From the interactions I've had with him on a number of occasions, it's not been that. So I don't mind a bit of back and forth, a bit of boxing like the game's the game. I'm not fussed by that. It is what it is. But ultimately, there needs to be a level of respect there and hold yourself properly, act, act properly in the right situations, and those things haven't been done. So, no, there's not. Any, any response, though? No, I've got respect for Woodley. Definitely, I think uh, he does hold himself well. I'll give him that. Um, seems to be a nice guy. Uh, but in terms of boxing and whatnot, mm, <clears throat> from a boxing perspective, there ain't no respect because he doesn't really do nothing good. But as a man and whatnot, you know, I'll, I'll give him his respect. Like I said, uh, he talks about our altercations. The first time I met him at his press conference, um, I didn't come with no sort of bad demeanour because everything was all sweet. I didn't want to to rattle him before his fight as well. But um, in the last press conference, I still came in with, with no sort of demeanour. You know, um, I was doing my interviews, I was smiling, I looked good, you know, I smelled good. I ain't trying to mess up my, my clothes and whatnot. So there was, there was never ever to... The plan was to never go there and get into all occasion with Audley. But like I said, he brought certain team members that had a chip on their shoulder and the chip got knocked off their shoulder. So that's all it was. But in terms of Audley, there was no problem with him himself. I mean, even when the argument happened, there was no problem with Wardley, you know. Um, so, yeah, he seems to be an all right guy, man. What gives you the edge in the fight, then? Me? I don't know. I just back myself, right? You've got to back, it. You've got to back yourself. Uh, faster than him. Smarter than him. Uh, I hit harder than him. More athletic than him. I move on everything better than him. My chin's better than his. <laughs> wow, man. Come on, Dev, man. I don't know. you got to ask him what advantage he has or what disadvantages he has. Fabio, do you want to list your disadvantages? See, the difference is he lists all those things, but we've never seen them. All right. They've never been tested. October 28th never been, will be the first time. They've never, they've, never, <laughs> they've never been showcased at all. And you've never been in with anyone of any quality <laughs> to even like touch on those things. October 28th so will be the first time. So you say, I'm this, I'm that, I've got this, I've got that. But we've never seen it. All right. because, because you've never been in anyone of any worth to even test those things. You've been in with, not to disrespect them, but some, a few Eastern Europeans that come over here or come over to lose. Like... Cool. We've all done it. We've all gone for them stages of our career. I thought some, same, some of the same people you thought, but obviously... No, that's what I said. We've all done it. We've all gone through them stages of our career, but and now is my others of us have stepped up that's much earlier than yeah. you have. I know. And now is my step up. And um, no, I feel it's a bit late, no? No, don't matter. Kept Even my step up comes at 30. 31, it doesn't matter. It's, if I feel like the step up's coming at that time, it's coming at that time. I'm, you don't feel I asked for certain fights early in my career. Um, it didn't come. It came now, you know, God's timing. Why well, didn't it come? They didn't think you were ready. God's timing. God's timing. That's all it is, you know. Um, you, yeah, I would have whooped your ass two years ago. Mm. But now it's coming now. But you oh, was too busy with no Latvian plumbers, so you was busy. Uh, but yeah, you boxed. You boxed Chris Healy after I did. Yeah, because my, my opponent dropped out three days in advance. That's oh. why you scheduled a fight with Chris Healy. That's the difference. No, I, I didn't. Thought, I, thought I didn't Chris actually. No, 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 no. I actually didn't. I didn't actually. We had opponents pull out. I think that was the day of the world, or the day of the Wembley fight. That was. I had about fifteen opponents pull out. Fifteen. About one five opponents pull out. <laughs> yeah, and then Chris Healy took it. We wanted to be on the show. Why not be on the show? Fight Chris Healy, you know. Um. So yeah. Oh, and you you beat him, yeah. How long did that take you? Four rounds. I thought how long did it take you two. Yeah, two. Oh, nice. I didn't you half the time. Swinging like a. Ooh, I see how you're swinging. Ooh, we we got a swing to get these boys out of there. I'm just touching them with straight shots. Bing, bing, uh, bing, bing. Yeah, you was calm, cool, collect, working, working on some bits. It's Wembley, man. Come on, man. I got it tattered on my arm. I had to go out there and soak up the atmosphere. Wembley? Oh. Yeah. You was on... Where, where was you on the bill? I was at three, three fights before Tyson, two fights before Tyson. Mm, yeah. I was there. I think it was a bit earlier. You know what's crazy, though? I was on three fights before Tyson, and a lot of people knew me there. Your fight on with Jermaine, uh, with, what is it, Michael Kofi, 
mm. was the fight before AJ. And the people in the crowd didn't even know you. That's nah. crazy. You're not, you don't, don't hear 18,000 people screaming my name, no? No, nah, what? You didn't hear it? What were you, you there? about? I was there. Mm. I saw that performance. We got video you footage. Must, you must I was asking that. people, who's fighting that? No, they're like, we don't even know. I said, that's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You ain't really known anywhere outside. And that's one thing that surprises me. It's funny because I see a lot of interviews of you. And you talk like you're really famous. I've never spoke like no, I'm no, famous. No, you in my talk life. like you're really I've famous. Never I've never spoke like I'm famous. Like Adley life. came to my press conference because he needs to build his profile. That's a fact. This. That's a fact. You ain't you famous, did. Wardy. I've never even turned up to None that. of me. I'll be real with you. Me and you both together, we ain't famous. We're building our name. No, I'm not. And I've never you said You ain't I famous. Was famous. And shall I be honest? I've never said the word Frank famous. did a better job of me than Eddie did with you because I'm more known than you are. That's just true. You're only known no, in Ipswich. Known by who? You're known in Ipswich. You ain't really known. Once you leave Ipswich. It's a small place. A lot of people are known in Ipswich. All right then. What, and, and, and that's what, the only place you're known. Wait, so you just the only you, you look like a donut. So that means Eddie didn't do a good job. You ain't known nowhere apart from Ipswich. You keep I hear interviews and and you're like ah, your deverish demands when the contract's being made. I'm like, God damn. What deverish demands? Being the A side, no, being, you, being the champ, being the one that's earned the way here. And so. then you're sending me a new contract. Oh, Adley, you gotta sign a whole new contract because Woody wants to be in that corner. What? Yeah, the A side. What a, what a drama queen. You want to be in that side of the corner? I don't care where we are. I'm, give me the contract. Oh, I'll sign so it. Why are you whinging about it for? Sign the paper. Because it's weird. That's what I'm trying to say. It's weird for it's you weird. because you've not been at this level before. You're new to this. All right, cool. You're asking to be in a certain corner. Change rooms, all these other things. Okay, But I want to be in that corner. I want to be... And you say certain things, and this is what I'm saying when I say you, you can't talk to me about certain things when I see through you. I study you, and I, I, I know a lot about what? you. I've keep, studied you. you keep... I'm going to tell you I've studied you. I've studied you. I'm talking... I know the days you spar in your gyms. I know what you're doing. I Monday, Wednesday, you. Friday, I tell you. I studied you. Trust me. Like, I've done a lot of studying. I did my homework. Mm. All I think about right now, Wardley, <laughs> I think about you, bro. <laughs> Good, man. All Good. I think about. Fabio, let, let me ask you this, right? There, there have been fights where you have come through a little bit of fire mm. and you've come out on top. Nathan Gorman, Eric Molina, you've been maybe stung in those fights. You've come back Nick and you've Webb, come out. Simon Valinli. He gets hit. And when he gets hit, woo-wee, what happens? You just come out swinging again. You do, you do. I mean, you do come out swimming, so fair play to you. I mean, you do, but yeah, you're always getting tested. You say I ain't being tested. Thank God, you're always getting tested. I think that shows the calibre of people we're in with, though. It just shows you the calibre of your You can chip. list all my, my names because they're known people, real fighters. Mm -hmm. Yours, I can't name one. Are you, are you going to agree that one of us is going to get knocked out? Yeah, 1,000%. All right, then. So the judges ain't going to be needed? Nah, not at all. They asked me earlier. Uh, we can send them back. We can save Frank some money, send them back. They, they, they're going to send the judges back, Frank. Are you all right with that? I don't need them. Save their flight. Save their hotel. You know, they asked me earlier. Save if, money sounds good to me. <laughs> no, no, no. Like I said, they asked me earlier, is the fight going to go to the school cards? I said, if it does, then we both failed. Yeah. You can't 1, both talk yeah. like this. I agree with you. And let it go to the school cards. No, I agree with you. I've got no interest in them school cards. Oh, cool. I never used them before. I'm on what you're them. on, Fabio. Trust me. Good Whatever job. you're on, I'm I on. I like it. Trust me on that. Meet me in the centre and we'll go. I, that's, Trust that's, me. That's, that's where I'm comfy, so we can go there. That's fine. Me and you, well, we can bang for the whole three minutes of the first one until one of us go over. That sounds a bit mad, but yeah, no worries. Yeah, why well, would you think of it like that? You Don't know. But if you want to do that, on, we can, me and you can bang in the middle of the ring. You just said I've been on your mind for the past how long, and now you're talking to me like that. It's just yeah. a bit mad. Is, is this fight going to go into deep waters? What do we think? Nah. First half done. It depends. On what sort of mm -hmm. It pump. was two seconds ago. It was it was first minutes less bang. It's not it's not it's not going to go in deep waters for me. I'm talking about for your, for yourself. Are they going to drag you out? Or is it gonna, it's going to get long for you though. Regardless, it's going to get long. 110 percent is going to get long. I saw a video of Wardley hitting the pads the other day, and TNT said, uh, "Wow, look at the speed of Fabio Wardley there." The boy's throwing right hands, awful balance, shit, just. <laughs> Just didn't look <coughs> like, didn't look special in the slightest. It's, the fight's gonna go into deep waters. Of course it is. Don't sit there and say no. It's gonna go into deep waters for one of us. I think it's gonna be you. It's not deep waters. We'll see. Right. What we got? I think that will do us. I mean, I think that will. I think that will. Uh, Frank, final final word from from yourself on a, a mouthwatering chief support about October twenty eighth. There'll be no shallow end. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> They're in deep water. That's what we're going to see. These two guys are going to give it their all. You've seen the passion and the desire. And it's going to be on the most fabulous card in Riyadh, opening Riyadh season. It's yours. The winner of this, you get seen around the world. It's yours to go and claim and become and get the fame. All right, well, there is 250 stone of security close by, I've been told. We're about to do a face-off. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>
What was he saying to you up there? Yeah, nothing of any substance, really. Just a lot of waffle, a lot of talk. But like, don't get me wrong, he's he's good for that. It's good for the promo. It's good for a bit of back and forth. But that's pretty much all he's good for is a lot of mouth and no substance. You can still tell us what he said about your head. No, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, cool. What, what did you make of the whole kind of uh, thing up there? He had plenty to say. You had plenty to say as well. Some good exchanges in there as well. He seems to feel like he's he's got you covered in every department. So he says. So he says. But a lot of people talk it and not a lot of people walk it or have walked it or even come close to walking it. And he's one of those, unfortunately, that does a lot of talking, but fight night comes around and it's all very different. Whereas I think I'm the reverse. I, I talk less and do more. Were you expecting a more fired up David Adelaide out there? No, I was, I was pretty sure that's how he was going to come. Because, like I say, after the last one, there was, he, he didn't get some great reviews from that either. Like I say, it's a bit silly to have an altercation like that on such a, in front of so many cameras. So mm-hmm. the evidence speaks for itself. Um, so I think I knew today he was trying to do a bit of a reputation building get it back and go oh no i'm a nice guy really i'm this i'm that but ultimately cameras are out we see people's true colors what are his true colors <laughs> i don't know i don't know how to label him in colors but like his, his true personality is soft it's um you think he's soft i think he's soft i think it's a front like i don't know it maybe he convinces you lot maybe he convinces the people around him maybe he convinces his team his trainers whatever are the fighters even maybe but to me it's, I see straight through it like it's not that's not if you're that kind of person that's not how you would carry yourself I know I know serious people who are like that and that's not how they carry themselves they're calm they're cool they're relaxed and comfortable and he's, he's none, of, they're none of the words I would use to describe him he said that you're all he's thinking about it sounds like he's been studying mm. you he's been he's been watching his Wardley tapes maybe watching his Wardley interviews I, I, maybe. I don't know doing you, research like you maybe maybe are you doing the same sort of thing are you uh, are you watching tape of David Adelaide mm. yeah daily yeah, yeah is he course. any good no <laughs> I keep having to rewatch it because I fall asleep and I have to turn it on again this is, I have to keep overdoing it but nah look I regardless of anything I don't like the opponent to me is irrelevant I'll do my job my job is to be the best me be the best boxer I can be study my opponent be a professional and do all of those things and tick all those things off so whether it's Adelaide whether it's someone else it doesn't matter I'm going to do my job at the end of the day and that is part of it okay well you've got more jobs to do today plenty more media mm, um, man. thank you very much Fabio Wardley I'll, thank I'll you. grab the mic off you and and a, well, the worst handshake ever that was limp oh, no, limp from me terrible I'm Come soft like, like you said David Adlai was soft I'm going to tell him about that um, so I'm I think sure you, you will. <laughs> I think you're going to get dragged off over here that is Fabio Wardley and uh, we're going to now speak to uh, his opponent October 28th mouthwatering fight four titles on the line Mr David Adelaide please grab this Battle of the Baddest like it yeah, I'm good. I like it, you know. <laughs> yeah, proper study in it. Yeah. Uh, h- how did you find the press conference up there? It was all right. It was fun. Mm. You know, um, it's part of the process, right? When you're involved in big fights, you've got to do the media. Um, so it was like my first sort of press conference. You know, um, it's my biggest fight to date, so I'm just getting used to it. But this is more than that, right? I mean, look, we, we understand there has been animosity. Things have happened in the build-up to this. This was your first time chatting to each other about that unless you've been in each other's DMs or something like this is the first time so how do you reflect back on it yeah it was alright you know um, normal uh, yeah like, like I said nothing I don't really think about these things I just go into it and just what mm. happens happens I go with the flow like I said I match energy um, so yeah and his energy today seemed, seemed okay he seemed mellow to, mellow yeah yeah he's mellow he's, he's on his best behaviour but you know um like I said, I just match his energy. Um, as a person, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. That's just the truth. He don't seem like a bad guy. Um, he ain't somebody I hate. He's just going in there to fight. Like I said, obviously, the last occasion happened because of his team members. It wasn't even him, per se, but I'm just good at matching energy. So I match his energy and then, yeah. You had a little face-off there as well. I guess that's actually the first face-off you know, in a media-type environment you've had, but... I saw you jawing at him. I saw you saying a couple of things. What did you say? I just said his head bigger than I <laughs> thought. <laughs> he said, well, you can't miss. I was like, I know. Thank you, man. He's like, yeah. So, you know, um, yeah, that was really it. Um, literally just soaking up the atmosphere, man. It's good. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever been involved in a fight like this. Um, people dream of it. I get to live it, so I can't complain. 
I just spoke to him. He said that you are you're on your best behaviour, um, and you're covering up your true colours. And I asked him what are his true colours then. And he says he thinks you're soft. Underneath it all, this is all bravado. I don't even see none of this on the table. Just boo hoo. It's, it's just like off. you know when you hear people talk about hands your back, and then when they see the nice, it's like oh, there's no point in talking to him. Um, what they say in real. But if he thinks I'm soft, then so be it. Um, I don't feel like I'm in a position where I've got to prove myself. I don't need to prove myself to nobody. I don't need to prove myself to him especially. So um, that's how he feels and that's how he feels. Well, let's bring in your promoter, Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Frank Warren. David Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, uh, tasty press conference. What was your reaction to it? Oh, it was good. I mean, it was it was good. I thought, you know, both the guys showed, you know, this res- I, I, you know I'm, I'm an observer of watching this. I think it's respect from both of them towards each other. And... Um, I think we've got a real good fight in our hands. There's no doubt about it. It's going to be a real good fight. Both of them believe in themselves. And we'll see what happens in in Riyadh on the 28th. They've got a massive platform. You know, the winner of this fight is going to be seen by... Well, the fight's going to be seen all around the world. And the winner's going to have a, a, a real, you know, a real platform to show what he's all about. Well, we're going to lose David Adley. David, wonderful speaking to you. Pleasure. Cheers, big man. You You're good? You. There goes the big man. We'll keep Frank for a, for a brief chat. Um, yeah, as you say, so many eyeballs in the world are going to be on this show, October 28th, and it's a heavyweight bonanza. It I is. Mean, some of the fights on there, Frank, come yeah, on. I just hope the ring holds up. <laughs> I mean, these are big guys. They're big guys, and there's some really good competitive fights on there. And, you know, it's backed up by this massive event, opening up the Riyadh season. You know, it doesn't get any better than this. For this fight in particular, Fabio Wardley, David Adley, where does the winner go? Where does the loser go? Depends how they lose and it depends how they win. Um, you know, I think the winner goes on and I think he'll become one of the big names in world boxing. There's no doubt about it. And for the loser, it's not the end of the world. As I say, it depends how you lose and what you're all about coming back. I've seen guys lose and come back and become champions. Uh, you know, very few fighters remain undefeated in their careers. And when two undefeated guys are fighting, obviously someone's going to lose that O. And with David Adlai, he he's a, a guy that you've had since the start. You promoted him from the very start. Uh, what have you seen in his career so far, which has given you confidence that he is ready for this stage, at this point, 12-0 and 0 now, to go and fight the unbeaten British champion? I think he needs to challenge. I think he's he's done well up to now what he's done. He's done everything that's been asked of him. But he, I feel he needs to challenge himself. And I think he's got the challenge in him. And he's in with a guy who's, who, who's been in the trenches when he's been hurt. He's come back and, and, and won fights you know, with desire and, and willpower. So this time round, we will see. This, and this is a good fight. You're gonna, this is going to tell you what David Adelaide's about. And it's also going to tell you what Fabio's about. Have you been impressed with Fabio Wardley? As you mentioned I've only met him. It's the first yeah. time I met him. And I spoke to him the other day on the phone. They put him on the phone with me. He's a very nice guy, a very nice guy. Most boxers are nice guys, and he's a nice guy. But in terms of he's had to, he's gone for a few fights where he's had to overcome a little bit. I'm not sure we've seen that. But I don't think we've seen David Adelaide hurt well, he's, yet. Well, he's not been in that in yeah. there. But that's that that happens. That will happen. It will happen to him as it happens to all fighters. There's always someone there who's going to catch you with a shot, and it's how how you respond to it. Respond to it. Um, I think he will, if he does get caught, I think he will respond to it. But we'll, the only way we're going to find out is when it happens. So the main event on that evening is Tyson Fury against Francis Ngannou. We are edging closer to it now. Um, give me your kind of feelings around it. Obviously, you know, this Fury versus Usyk's meant to happen as well. Like, how, how are you feeling about all of this? It's a, it's a big fight, it's big a, moment. It's a big fight. It's a big event, like I've said from day one. I mean, I keep getting people, friends of mine in like New York, I had some people in Tokyo... Um, and myself, I see it in Piccadilly. You know, all the all the billboards, all these, all, all these, uh, it's, it's everywhere to fight. The Vegas, statues. it's on the statues. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never seen. I have never seen anything like this in my time in boxing. The promotion that's gone into it has been amazing. I mean, the the the, the, the promos, a couple of them are award winning things. Absolutely. And I think the one where the where the where the, where the Two guys, all the rooms were cracking and there's everything yeah. rocking. Amazing. In two days, 152 million people watched that. Two days, it had 152 million hits. That's the size of this event. It is a mega event, and it's it's transcended boxing. It's, it's not just a boxing event. This has transcended it, and all eyes will be on it on the 28th. 
it's going to be one of those things you, you know where you were on that date because every, there's interest everywhere I go people are talking to me about it asking me about it and I do think it's going to be a, a good fight I think whilst it lasts I think it's going to be lively I think they're going to be throwing bombs and somebody's going to get stopped and uh, I hope it's going to be our man who does the business do you feel as though Tyson can't afford to be a mess about he, 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 listen he's a Tyson Fury is a consummate professional mm. and as I mentioned to before when we've talked about this in his last few fights he stood and traded you know the biggest punch in heavyweight statistically in heavyweight boxing in the last 50 odd years is Deontay Wilder he stood and traded with him he didn't get on his bike and jab away and move he stood and traded with him must make you nervous though if he's going to of course it makes trade. me nervous I mean he's got on the floor he's been on the floor a couple of times and you know you see him go down you go, oh god I don't want to see that happen I don't want to see look, look you get hurt we're in the hurt business but I don't want to see my you know Tyson who I'm, you know, I think a lot of I don't want to see him getting hurt I want to see him come through the fight safely but he does do that because he's he's a fighting man and this other guy he ain't going to box because he he's not a boxer he comes from a sport that as soon as their bell goes, they're kicking, they're rolling about, they're headbutting, they're doing everything, you, all these things, and he can whack, and he's taking people out with punches. He's not in the Guinness Book of Records for nothing. He's in the Guinness Book of Records because he's the hardest punching uh, fighter out there, mm -hmm. you know, across all the sports. That's what he is. So how does he win the fight? He's got to knock Tyson out. And how do you knock him out? You've got to stand and trade with him if you can't box. And you've got to try and rough him up. So it's going to be exciting. Do not worry about that. It will be exciting while it lasts. It's definitely going to be exciting, Frank. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And that is us. Thank you so much for joining us. And remember, October 28th, we will be live. It's finally happening. The battle of the baddest. Tyson Fury against Francis Ngannou. And as you've just seen today, chief support, Fabio Wardley, David Adlai, four titles on the line. British heavyweight title, the Commonwealth heavyweight title, the WBA Continental, the WBO European titles galore and a whole lot of pride between two unbeaten British lions duking it out in the desert. Do not miss it.